So, um, June was the month that my grandpa passed away. I believe so, actually. Um, yeah, it was June. And so it was a very sad moment for me. So, um, to celebrate, it's two years later, and my grandpa is probably smiling down on me as I make this video because I'm going to show you a video of my speech, my short speech at a little celebration between our families to honor him and, you know, to say some kind words, spend some time together, that kind of thing. He's an angel now and makes me want to cry. I think I'm going to cry right now, so let's get to the video. I think you're going to like it. To honor my grandpa and all that he did for us. All right. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> grandpa meant a lot to me. Just so many fond memories that we spent together. And you may not, and the big orange tree in the back of my bed we would spend time together. When I was younger, he would sort of swing with me on the swings by, um, by a house before there was a fence there. And he would listen to all my stories and everything just... And I also love his faith in God. God means a lot to all of us, I'm sure. And now when I think of him, I also think of God, as it always has been. He was a good man. He actually... I'm sure he meant a lot to all of us. He was family to all of us. He was a part of all of us. And now he rests here in our hearts. And when we go to heaven, we'll see him. And we will be reunited with the person that we all love. So, fond memories may be all we have now, but sure enough, someday we'll see him again. And um, because Grandpa meant so much to me, I'm going to dedicate my film company here, Lunar Flare Studios, to him. And at the end of most of the credit rolls, actually I think every one of them, we're going to have his picture, a picture of me with him, and a little memorial. I thought a memorial to my Grandpa would be wonderful because he meant a lot to me. As you saw in the video, like I said, he listened to all my stories. One thing I like to do is make magazines for him. I would have this little character um, who happened to be Pinkie Pie the Cat. Um, if you ever read Ginger Pie um, or The Moffats, um, you'll know the author Eleanor Estes. She wrote a story called Pinkie Pie about a cat named Pinkie Pie. Not a pony. <laughs> so yeah, um, I would be Pinkie Pie the Cat and then Gracie the Cat, Ginger. The dog, and not my dog Ginger, but the one in the book, and then an owl named Owly. <laughs> it's cute. So, um, wonderful memories, just some wonderful things that he's done for me. Um, I especially like the orange tree, um, tradition we had. Like, we'd pick the oranges off the tree in his backyard, and then we'd make homemade orange juice, which was my favorite tradition ever. I was in charge of slicing the oranges in half and then throwing the empty rinds away after he juiced them. But yeah, it was it was amazing how 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 one person could mean so much to you and that's something we all know. It's something called love. And we all know love. It it's a it's a very important feeling to all of us. So um after we have, after this video is finished, um, I'd like a moment of silence to honor my grandfather and all that he did for us. If there are any family members out there watching this, I'd like you to um, post down below your favorite memory of him. Also, um, for all my fans and subscribers, I'd um, like to tell you, cherish those moments while they're there. Because someday they won't be. Except in your mind, in your memories. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope this, I hope Grandpa will see me again someday. I'm going to do my best to honor God, do good things, and make it to heaven so I can see Grandpa and Mom and Dad when I grow old and go to heaven. It'll be a wonderful thing to see Grandpa again, but for now I'm going to cherish life. Because life only comes once. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.